Hi. So we'll be doing your value of supply in case of life insurance policy as given under rule number 32 sub rule 4. Now just before we get into the valuation part of GST, let's understand a few concepts of life insurance. Firstly, from these three people, okay, three, three kind of uh, classes, a single person is there. He is absolutely nobody. Koi bhi nahi hai iska. Does he require life insurance policy? Or let's say this person, Mr. A, okay, Mr. A is a sole owning member of the family. He has taken up a loan uh, to, you know, provide for his family and nobody else in his family is earning. Does he require life insurance, his life in to be insured? Or the third category is also there is where this is a single parent and she is like taking care of her child. So in these three cases, can you tell me who requires the life insurance? Does he require? Answer is no. But this guy definitely requires and even the single parent will require a life insurance policy to protect people after you or your beneficiaries. In life insurance, what happens? Uh, the life of a certain person is insured by a certain sum that in case if he dies or the person dies, a certain amount will be given to the beneficiaries. Let's say if the sole earning member, Mr. A dies, a certain amount will be given to the beneficiaries to continue it. So it's a very good, uh, good concept and certain people should definitely go ahead who know that there are dependents on them in case of any undue or uh, unforeseen circumstance, untimely death of a person, the family does not is not hit economically. Now what is life insurance? Life insurance is a contract. Life insurance is actually a contract between the policy holder and the insurance company okay where it states that till a certain time period the holder will keep paying the insurance period uh, the insurance premium during that time if the person dies then the commission then the that amount insured amount will be given to the beneficiaries if he survives that time period then no uh, no policy obviously or no amount will be given to the beneficiary since he has survived it that is how the insurance company will earn so the life insurance company will pay a specific sum to the insured individuals family upon his death so let's say if this is a life insurance policy taken by this person and his life is insured in case if he dies then the dependents will get a certain amount so it can re replace your economic value when you are gone and therefore the sole bread owners should definitely get their life insured and there are different kinds of life insurance policies now uh, and financial instruments that have been developed but a pure vanilla one or the basic one is a full risk cover or a pure life insurance your entire premium is given to cover the risk so it's a it covers the risk for example in a time span let's say for 20 years 20 years i have to keep paying premium and since 20 years i am insured that is during the 20 years if there's a death of the policy holder the beneficiaries will get a certain amount but if there is no death of the person during the pe uh, period obviously nothing would be given to the uh, beneficiary since he has survived it and the premiums will go to the insurance company now the value of supply in relation to life insurance business is a gross amount charged from the policy holder so whatever the policy holder is paying as premium the entire amount is to be taken as the value of supply and GST will be levied on it. Now with time, there are certain other kinds of insurance policies also that come in which 
have not only a risk cover but also certain amount is kept as investments which are returned to him in some of the other way so the investment amount is not to be taken into the uh, value of supply because obviously it is his only and it will be returned to him in some of the other manner as how the contract is made so if you have made a investment come insurance that is a insurance life insurance also done and in that premium amount even the certain amount maybe you will have to decide how much percentage of that premium will go for investments and the where that investment will go whether it will go in equity where it will go in debt etc so the value of supply will exclude the investment amount that is all you need to remember if any amount is allocated for investments or savings that amount shall be reduced from the gross amount while calculating the value of supply okay and this it is important that such investment amount kitna hone wala hai kitna percentage kahan jane wala hai all of this shall be intimated to the policy holder at the time of supply only so when it is being given that time only it has been previously told where this uh, investment would be made the next one is a uh, very interesting and up you know very in demand kind of a thing is called as annuity now what is annuity let's understand <clears throat> wouldn't you want a pension where after you retire a certain amount keeps coming flowing to you continuously till your death so this kind of instru instrument is like a annuity where a certain income is guaranteed to you when you retire so this is hdfc bank you make a one time investment i have to make a lump sum amount invested today and then i can recover certain incomes continually regularly after a certain time span for the lifetime regular income so there are some certain annuity plans which i just picked it up from the net so if you go to see the top annuity plans you pay 10 lakhs today and you will get after a certain years you will get your 10 lakhs plus 5000 rupees monthly pension wouldn't you want that so maybe it could be for 20 30 years i have to wait to get this kind of uh, figure icici prudential also is saying that you pay 10 lakhs today in future after x number of days we will give you a lump sum 10 lakhs and 5000 rupees approximately uh, income per month so this is like a retirement plan that is being made for you now in such cases how do you determine the value of supply since it's a one lump sum premium that you're paying or lump sum amount you're paying the value of supply is 10% of that figure in case of a single premium annuity policy then 10% of the single premium charge is considered to be the value of supply very simple note what is a single premium annuity is just a explanation is given a single premium annuity is a contract between the insurance company where you pay a sum up front known as a premium to ek hi baar ka maine 10 lakh rupaye de diya and the insurance company promises to pay me a certain amount periodically for the rest of my life after a certain date as will be mentioned in the contract so annuity is a very good it's like a pension that you can uh, give it to yourself or you can get it so that in future the insurance company will keep paying you continuously for your lifetime and all other cases come in the case 3 any other case other than the above two how do you determine that 25% of the premium charged will be the value of supply in the first year and 12.5% of the premium charged from the policy holder will be the value of supply in the subsequent year for example i am paying regular premiums other than the first and the second category then for the first year 25% is considered to be the value of supply and next years when i pay only 12.5% of the premium is considered to be the value of supply now this note we can keep it in mind nothing contained in sub rule shall apply where the entire premium by the policy holders is only for the risk cover 
इन द लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कॉमन सेंस है अगर पूरा ही अमाउंट रिस्क कवर के लिए है तो पूरे ही अमाउंट पे जीएसटी लगेगा वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ अदर केसेस मीन अदर देन दीज केसेस तो यहां पे ऐसे नोट के लिए क्लैरिफाई कर दिया है नथिंग इन दिस सब रूल शैल अप्लाई वेयर दी एंटायर प्रीमियम इज पेड टू अ रिस्क कवर मतलब क्या In case if something happens to me in the time span, my beneficiaries will get the amount. The entire premium is covering the risk. Okay. In case if someone dies, then that uh, amount insured will have to be given to the beneficiary. There is no come insurance. There is no investment, saving, any other type. If it's a plain this, then the category it falls under category A, and the entire premium is charged to GST. <coughs> Simple. so if we take a short summary of this if <clears throat> it is a investment come insurance then the value supply is a gross amount charge that is a premium value excluding the investment amount if it's a single premium annuity policy that is you pay a lump sum figure and then in future you keep getting regular periodical flows then it is 10% of the premium charge in any other case for the first year the premium charge 25% of the premium charge will be the value and in subsequent years it is considered that 12.5% is the value of supply this all is given in your rule number 32 sub rule 4